This is CBS 12 News at The news starts now. Hi everyone, I'm Jim Grimes. I'm Liz Kidantes. We have had scattered storms in our area throughout the afternoon. Yeah, let's get over to our chief meteorologist, Vita. Folks got to see some showers and thunderstorms uh, in their areas as we've gone through the evening hours. Palm Beach County looking at just mostly cloudy skies. We had some showers and thunderstorms earlier, especially along the trip, but it looks like uh, we're going to continue to see things quiet down tonight. Even this big swath of rain just west of Lake Okeechobee kind of falling apart. So I think what we're going to see is mostly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy skies and humid conditions still muggy. Upper 70s along the Treasure Coast from Fort Pierce through Port, Port St. Lucie. Looking at uh, West Palm Beach at 84 degrees, 83 Boca Raton, Boca Raton, Okeechobee right now 81. But that heat and humidity, it makes it feel like about 90 in Royal Palm 90 in West Palm 92 in Boca and that heat index is going to continue to be fired at how hot it's going to get and when the next rain arrives coming up. After getting a tip, Treasure Coast detectives busted several businesses for illegal gambling and a bag shaken and the winning ones are pulled out. Well, apparently these stores skipped the bag and skipped the balls and based the winning numbers on New York's lottery. That was a mistake. Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman joins us with the arrest, the illegal Treasure Coast reporter Dylan Huberman joins us with the arrest, the illegal gambling and the New York connection. Dylan. Behind me as we get to Friday, Saturday into the weekend, spotty showers and thunderstorms once again. All right, bring on the rain. Thanks, Vitas. Thank you for watching. We'll be back for CBS 12 News at 11. We'll see you then. The CBS.